We're now on the other side of our street, um, and we are over in a creek bed. Tegan is very confident that Griffin is, had taken a route down by that creek bed. You'll see Letitia just gave him the scent again out of the baggie that is the gauze uh, rubbed from Griffin's harness. And Tegan is just so, look how he's pulling. He's adamant that he wants to go down to that creek bed, but we're trying to find, oh, now he stopped, which means... I was, I'll tell you what I did as soon as this car passed. <laughs> so he's so confident that he has Griffin's scent and he's pulling me really hard. So I wanted to test him. I just gave him scent of a dog that's not here. Oh, and so he, he sat? Just, yeah, and that's his way of telling me I don't have it. So I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't getting ahead of himself or too excited. So I basically stopped him for a second and said, okay, do you really Are you have sure? It? So now I'm going to give him Griffin's scent again. Okay. But I just, I like to double check them. That's fascinating. So the reason he stopped and sat is because you gave him the scent of another dog. I gave him the scent of another dog and he pulled out and was looking for yeah, it. Yeah, and then he, he like, stopped. Wait, I just had something, but... That, that's not the dog. So, and he's, his negative to me is to come back and sit. That's phenomenal. So now Letitia's going to give him the scent of Griffin again, and we're going to see how sure he is of where he's headed. I'm just going to wait till this car passes. Yeah. You can hear the cars on this road travel like 75, 80 miles an hour, even though we're out in the middle of nowhere. This is the thoroughfare from Napa to all surrounding cities, kind of the back way rather than the freeway. So lots of traffic, very dangerous because people are crazy drivers in this area. And he really wants to go down to that creek bed, so I guess that's what we're going to do. Thank goodness for my boots. Hold on.